Coral reefs. Coral reefs. So, class question: What are coral reefs, and why are they being protected? Underwater communities. Coral reefs are huge ocean communities. Millions of animals and sea plants live in them. Coral reefs are very busy places. Many kinds of coral make up reefs. Corals aren't rock or plant plants. They are tiny animals called polyps. Most polyps are smaller than a pea. Kind of coral. There are two kinds of coral. The first kind is hard corals. These corals have hard skeletons. Over time, thousands of popul 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 polyp skeletons help them to help build the reef. Algae live on the in the bodies of these corals. Algae are simple cousins of plants. The algae are food for the corals. South corals are a second kind of coral. They often look like trees or other plants. These coral can bend with the water currents. Algae live in the bodies of some of them. Many corals are named for what they look like. Green corals look like grains. Sea fans look like open pens. Sea pens look like old fashioned. Pants made from big feathers. A busy home. Thousands of fish of all sizes, shapes, and colors live in the reefs. They depend on the reef for food and safety. Shrimp, lobsters, crabs, and sea stars feed on reefs. The holes in reefs are good places for animals to hide. Where corals sleep. Most coral reefs are close to shore in warm parts of the world. Corals need certain things to stay healthy. They need algae for food. They must be near the water's surface so the algae can get enough sunlight. Also, both corals and algae need water that is not too warm or cold. There are three kinds of coral reefs. Fringing reefs are close to the shore. Barrier reef reef have a large deep area of water between the reef and the shore. Wilder, the Great Barrier Reef is about half size, the half size, about half the size of Texas. Alt atolls, the third type of reef, are shaped like circles. They form around the edges of a slowly sinking island. Island. After the island sinks, a small body of water called lagoon forms in the center. Dangers to coral reefs. Coral reefs are very friendly, fragile. Many things can harm them. People are the biggest cause of harm. People burn huge amount of coral oil and gas to power cars and factories and to heat and cool cool buildings. Burning coral. Oil and gas is making Earth's air and water warmer. Warmer ocean what water causes many problems for coral reefs. Corals are getting sick. Coral disease can destroy big reefs in just weeks. Warmer water is also causing corals to lose their algae. Without algae, corals have no food. They are lost their color and turn white. Three fourths of all coral reefs have this problem. Other things harm coral reefs too. Some people use poison and explosives when they fish. Boats can break up large pieces of reefs. Dirt and trash can smoother them. Boats can also leak gas and oil. Gas and oil hurt coral, plants, and fish. Protecting coral reefs. Coral reefs are beautiful. They are also important for many reasons. Reefs help protect coasts from storms and floods. They provide fish for many kinds of fish that people eat. Some reef plants and animals are used for medicines. Many countries try to protect their reefs. They have their written laws and rules to keep reefs safe. 
but people do not always follow those laws and rules. Half of the world's reefs have been destroyed. Most of the others are in trouble. Scientists are working to help coral reefs. Each of us can help too, even if we don't live in near the ocean. Never throw things in the water. Learn about. Learn about people do. That makes ocean water to work. We can all help protect coral reefs. Then all the things on coral reefs will continue to have homes and food. Coral necessaries. <laughs> Scientists can grow pieces of healthy coral in necessaries. The pieces might be rescued, rescued from both related damage or hostile building projects. Scientists hang the pieces from bars, place them in baskets, or attach them to stand on the ocean floor. They later move the pieces to damaged reefs to help fix them.